Grasping the Gavel, Wills and Trusts. Hello everyone. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of legal English vocabulary, focusing specifically on the terms and phrases you might come across in wills and trusts. This topic is a significant part of professional and academic English, so let's get started. To start, let's define what wills and trusts are. A will, also known as a last will and testament, is a legal document that indicates how a person wants their property and affairs to be handled after they die. On the other hand, a trust is a legal arrangement where one person, known as the trustee, manages property for the benefit of others, referred to as beneficiaries. In the context of wills, there are several key terms that are crucial to understand. Testator, the person who writes and executes a will. Executor, the person appointed by the testator to carry out the instructions in the will. Bequest, something given or left by a will, usually a specific item or amount of money. Estate, the overall property and assets of a person, especially as left at death. Probate, the legal process of verifying a will. Moving on to trusts, there are equally important terms to be aware of. Settler, grantor, the person who creates a trust. Trustee, the person or institution that manages the trust assets. Beneficiary, the person or group who will receive the benefits or assets from the trust. Trust property, the assets held in the trust, which can include money, real estate, stocks, and more. Revocable trust, a trust that can be altered or canceled by the grantor during their lifetime. Irrevocable trust, a trust that cannot be altered or canceled without the permission of the beneficiary. With these key terms under your belt, you're now more prepared to tackle the intricate language of wills and trusts in English. This understanding can be particularly beneficial in academic or professional settings where legal vocabulary plays a significant role. Remember, mastering a language involves understanding its nuances, especially when it comes to professional or specialized fields like law. Keep practicing and stay curious. I hope this video was informative and engaging. Tune in for more deep dives into the fascinating world of English language learning. Until next time.